It was good, everybody. It's your boy Kama. We back with another video, man. Right now, I'm gonna get into my little um, schedule release reaction. This is not that just for the Cowboys. Just kind of get towards the um, whole division, so to speak. Um, Dallas wise, um, um. I feel good, man. Um, we got arguably the hardest test of the season. Who are the champs? Who are the standard? First game of the season. We lose a draw. I'm I'm fine with that. Um, I'm fine with my team getting that test early. That like that gut punch early. Whether we win, like, and I'm saying that now, because I'm not one of them guys that feel like if we win. We're going to Subo. I'm happy for this young team to get that gut punch early in the season. That wake up call and say this is for real. We gotta bring it. Um, we got the Chargers week two. I think it's gonna be a tough out. The Chargers roster is very talented. Justin Herbert is very talented, so I think we are gonna have to bring our A game first two weeks. I'm not saying, like, I can't speak on the team. I, I kind of disagree with them releasing their coach due to the circumstances, but a very talented roster. Um, Eagles week three. So I'm going to say about that. Um, I'm not going to walk through the whole roster because it's not going to be a long video. I just want to piggyback on um, certain things. I feel like outside of Kansas City... And um, Tampa Bay, who I feel like we can. I'm a, let me um quantify my co um, comments on saying this. A healthy Dallas Cowboys team offensively can bang with anybody. We can score with anybody. We can score with the best. We can score on any defense in this league. That's not my concern. Um. We're going to have a young defense, relatively young, a relatively young defense, which I think is going to take some time to grow. It's going to take a few weeks. It's not going to come out week one and just be – like, as long as we play with effort, we'll be fine. Um, Giants schedule. I think Giants is like – the Giants have a pretty good schedule. I, I feel like um, – if the Giants' biggest question mark is health, Health and the development on the O line. If Soldier could come back and be a valuable part of that line, and they could stay healthy, and Andrew Thomas could take another step, and Dane Jones could take another step, they're gonna be very dangerous. It's gonna be a very dangerous team, and then I'm like, like I just call it spade to spade. It is what it is. Like a lot of people down on Daniel Jones, but we never seen him with a number one wide receiver. They had a bona fide number one wide receiver, and they address no other weapons for him in the draft. Like, we don't know what that is. So, like, for me to say Dane Jones is trash and the Giants' offense is trash, I'd just be hating at this point. So, like, I can't say that because we haven't seen it yet. Um, Washington, I feel like Washington will be very formidable. Washington is a very good team. Um... One thing about Washington I don't like, yes, they have Ryan Fitzmagic, right? Ryan Fitzpatrick, Fitzmagic, whatever I like to call him. But if you look at the history of Fitzmagic, he's great when you don't expect him to be great. When you hand him the keys and say, this your job is when he's always terrible. He's always terrible. I mean, maybe that changes this year. Maybe it don't. Uh, like, I don't know, but like he's very capable of them winning winnable games or playing elevated football out of his skill set to win them games. He's very capable, so they're a very dangerous team. I think the ones with the toughest schedule out of all of is Philly, man. Like, Philly's schedule is tough. To do Atlanta week one, right? Nobody ex um mistaking Atlanta for being a defensive powerhouse, right? 
But offensively, Philly doesn't even know who's starting cornerback at the number two corner. They don't know who's fully the depth chart at the linebackers. With Calvin Ridley, Julio Jones, Kyle Pitts, they already had Hayden Hurst last year. They 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 were the only offense with eleven number one pick no no eleven first round picks on the offense. Was the one means the offensive line was stacked. They gonna hurt Philly. Like not saying Philly can't win that game, but it's gonna be dangerous, man. Then Philly got like Philly's schedule is really tough. But the roster they have is really tough. Like you might say it's hate. I'm calling it objective. I hate the Giants. I hate Washington just as much as I hate Philly. I've been objective. Philly is in danger of starting something crazy like 2 and 11, uh, something like they're in danger. If you look at their first 10, 11 games, the only games that you could get on right now that's going to toss up is Atlanta and Detroit. The only two games you get them to toss up, like, every other game is like, whoa, you going to beat Kansas City? With your support cast now, you know you can't contend with Dallas. Dallas is going to score a ton, a ton of points on you like they did last year with Andy Dalton. How they moved the ball on you with Ben DiNucci. Like, it's, they got Tampa Bay, Kansas City, Carolina, like, they just poured it on them in the first 10 level games. Because Jess is the last place schedule. But think about that. San Fran had a ton of injuries last year. So their record was what it was. That's not really the team they is. You got Tampa Bay because you play that division. You got Kansas City because you play that division. Like, it's, it's tough, man. It's tough. I don't see how they make it out this alive. Unless Jalen Hurts. Elevates his game to the point where nobody's seeing it coming to, like, he's just a franchise QB and he's willing to see the victories. I don't see Philly having a good output, man. But I'm happy with our schedule. I'm happy because offensively, we can bang with anybody in the NFL. The biggest question marks is on the defense, and I have no question about us improving this year. I have no questions about that. We're going to improve. Being that we're young, maybe it might take a couple of weeks for the adjustment period. Maybe not. We don't know. We're going to see. But I'm happy with it, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments, man. But always remember, like, and subscribe. It's your boy Kama. Salute.